So over the years I've learned a couple of tricks of the trade when it comes to candles and a couple of my favourites are how to stop them dripping and also how to get the most out of your candles. Now if you come to my home you will think I'm completely mad because in my freezer is where I keep the candles and the reason for this is it actually stops them dripping and it also slows down the burning process so you get a lot longer out of them and also you don't have those horrible drips all over your tablecloths at the end of a meal. So the dinner party is over, it's been a huge success, your guests have all gone and you're breaking down the table and suddenly you notice you've got candle wax on your best Irish linen. Don't panic. All you have to do is get either some blotting paper or kitchen, kitchen roll paper Place it on top of where the spillage has happened and you're going to get a, a warm iron, no steam and you're just going to gently apply some pressure just over the area where it's, where it's actually gone and then it will just lift the wax off the cloth onto the paper you might need to do this a couple of times There you go. It's lifted onto the onto the paper, which I think you can just about see, and it's off the cloth. Now all you need to do is put this on a uh, cotton watch, and that will come out perfectly without any wax in it. The next tip that I've learned is with the smaller candlestick here. As you can see, it doesn't really fit in that candlestick all that well. Now. Many people do different things. I've seen people uh, put blue tack in there, all sorts of things. You don't want to start doing that because it can be a nightmare then to get back out. What I've learned is you get some sellotape, attach one piece to the end, down at the base, wrap it around a couple of times, and then twist it, and then wrap it the other way around, so that then you get the sticky on the outside. And then carry on wrapping that around. And really, you've got to put on as much as you think would be enough to hold it securely in situ. I wrap it round and then I'll just push it in and that should hold it nicely so you don't have it rattling all the place. When it comes to lighting candles, it can be a nightmare, especially as your guests are coming in and you're suddenly racing around the room trying to get them all lit quickly. Now, what you should do is actually pre-light them also make sure the wicks are already putting up so that when you come round, it's really quick to light them. And then leave it for a few seconds just so that it actually catches. And then extinguish it. And now as you'll see, it should immediately catch. Thank you.